Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. We've got a cute little look here today. I've done some super creative looks in the past for St. Patrick's Day and a bunch of holidays, but I missed last year's St. Patrick's Day, so I figured I needed to kind of bring a look to life, share a look with you guys. I had this idea in my head of the classic rainbow with the pot of gold at the end and the clouds that are like trending this year. And I had these little stickers that were super cute and I wanted to do a rainbow eye. And this is just what I came up with here. Um, not really what I envisioned, but I also don't even know what I envisioned for this look. But here it is, it's here. And if you wanna learn how to get it, to decorate your face for St. Patty's Day, then just keep on watching. Mwah. Hi guys, we are jumping into this tutorial. I'm using a bunch of these liquid eyeshadows from Huda. Um, my brows are done, my eyes were primed. Um, I definitely, if you guys are gonna use these shadows, I don't know, I was just like kind of experimenting with them. It ended up working out fine. They were just a little difficult to blend. I recommend a more dense brush than the one that I used, but we made it work. Um, I do recommend that you don't really, like you make sure that you, whatever you set your eyes with, whatever you primed your eyes with is really, really set and like powdered and everything like that. And then you can go onto these. I think they'll blend a ton better because it was making my concealer move around just a little bit. I was half asleep while filming this video for you. Um, wanted to make sure we got it up before St. Patrick's Day weekend. So um, forgive me if there are some parts that are kind of all over the place, if you know what I'm saying. So we're jumping into the Morphe palette. This is one of the new Morphe palettes. I forgot what the number is, but you guys know all the details are in the description. I'm jumping into this lime green color and I'm just going to put that on top of the inner corner color. And then I'm taking some orange for the next color. And then I went into this carrot 21 color matte palette. I'm mixing the hot pink and the light pink together to get the pink shade that I want and then I did the same for the purple on the outer corner. So I kind of just went back and forth into these shadows to make sure that they were super super opaque um, and you know did everything that they needed to do. I'm then taking a little bit of the yellow shadow again mix it with the um, kind of beige color to mute it out just a little bit and I did that just so that we could have a good transition color. I'm gonna be doing kind of like a 70, what I would call a 75% cut crease, not a half cut crease. So I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm cutting the crease and then I'm going to add some dark purple to the outer corners. This shadow is from the Morphe palette. I'm just going to be um, blending that on the outer corner. I did have some difficulty with the blend on the outer corner. You'll see in just a second after we put this matte powder blue on the lid but we uh, kind of made it work and the glitter and the steel of shadow that I used kind of made it blend and come all together. Before we jump in that, into that steel of shadow, I'm using this liquid shadow from Huda. I think this is the part where it started to get a little um, kind of cakey on the eyes, I guess you would say. I definitely would recommend that if you're gonna use the Huda shadows, use them first with nothing underneath and then top shadows on top of them. So I'm using that Stila um, glitter um, on the inner corner and then I'm going to use this beautiful glittery pigment from Makeup Forever. It has like a very blue turquoise iridescence to it and this really helped kind of bring the eyes together. I'm actually gonna do a liquid liner this time. So this is the Man Eater Liquid Liner from Tarte. I'm just going to line my eyes first and then I'm going to wing them out. Just a simple wing, nothing crazy. We're gonna fill that little wing in and then we're moving on to mascara. I'm just using the MAC mascara in extra dimension and then we are using these lashes right here. These are the Jade Lashes from Huda. Pop those on and then for our primer, I'm using two different primers. I'm using this primer from Amazing Cosmetics. 
I think this color is the color Glow. And then I'm using the Milk Makeup Blur Stick to fill in any pores. For foundation, I'm using the new stick foundation from Wet n Wild. I don't know why. I don't know if it was this foundation or just the way that everything kind of came together, but my foundation started to look really gray on me. So um, don't mind that. Kind of disregard. <laughs> I'm going to do some editing with the photos to make sure that they're a little bit warmer. I think it might have been the background too because the green was kind of um, washing me out a little bit, but I just needed to do the green for St. Patty's Day. So now we're applying our concealer, just blending that out using the Tarte Shape Tape as always. Then I'm using the Derma Blend powder, translucent setting powder. I'm setting my entire face with that. And then we are moving on to the shadow right here. We're going back into that powder blue shade and I'm gonna kind of create like a contour of sky on my face, if you will. And I added um, a little bit of the lighter, like dark bright blue to the actual crease or to the actual like contour. And then I added some highlighter. Um, I added two highlighters. You saw I used the Too Faced highlighter and then I used the Wet n Wild highlighter. Just felt like I needed to kind of bring this look to life and um, give it a little more life. So I added the blush and I added the Wet n Wild highlighter set everything with my urban decay all nighter spray and then i'm going to take this gold liquid liner from mac to add a little gold to this because what does a saint patty's day look without some gold and then i added a wet n wild bronzer to bring again like i said this life to look because it was looking a little gray and pale for the lips i'm using a coral lip pencil from buxom and then i'm using two anastasia lip products one is a liquid lipstick and then i topped it off with dainty lip gloss then we're adding just a couple of little shamrocks um, i didn't put any glue down just because i knew i wasn't wearing this look for long but if you guys are going to wear this look out or for long i would definitely recommend that you use some lash glue behind these little shamrocks I got them at Michael's. You can also see them featured in my calendar video too. <laughs> and then I added a couple of little clouds. Another thing, I would recommend doing the clouds prior to doing the shamrocks. Guys, remember, it was like 5.30 in the morning when I was filming this. 4.30, I don't know. S bear with me here. <laughs> so for the clouds, I just take the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX and I take a rounded brush and I kind of just like press and create these little cloud like shapes i just like the way that the milk jumbo eye pencil really kind of blends and um, blends out kind of like a cloud and then again some more gold i'm adding a couple little spots of gold glitter on my lips and around my face from nyx I also added some to the inner corner. I would have did my hair, you guys, but I wanted to go to sleep. And I liked this look the way that it was. So here's the final look. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me and my flat hair today are gonna go um, eat some food, uh, edit some videos, do the only things that I ever really do do. Sleep is not one of them. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, make sure you're subscribed to my channel by clicking my face in the center of the screen. Click the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single post because I am posting every single day for the rest of the month of March. Yes, believe it, I mean it gonna be great it's gonna be like the 31 days of Halloween but like in March <laughs> so make sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything and check out all my other videos right here including past st. Patrick's Day looks so you have some ideas for this weekend just in case you're going out <laughs> but I love you guys so much thanks for watching and I'll see you really soon bye